Shalom, everyone. Welcome back, and a good Erev Shabbos to you all. This week's Torah portion is a portion of Shoftim. Shoftim means judges, and the Torah portion begins, Shoftim B'Shotrim, judges and officers of the court, or policemen. Titen l'cha, you shall place b'chol sharech in all of your gates, asher Hashem elokecha nosen l'cha, that God gives you, lishvatecha, to uh, to all of your um, tribes, b'shavtu es and judge the people, mishpat sedek, with righteous judgment, with good judgment, with truthful judgment. In Judaism, we've always believed that the most important thing is justice and truth. These are the most important qualities, not faith in God or any spiritual ideal, which are important also. But the most important thing is how to deal with one another and to deal fairly and righteously with one another, to take care of one another and be good to one another. And indeed, this is really the theme of this Parsha. And this is also the theme of the month of Elul, which we are now in, which is the month before Rosh Hashanah. How important it is that we should act properly to, to each other. In fact, there are two types of laws in Judaism, laws between man and man and between man and God. Laws between man and God are things such as keeping the Sabbath, keeping kosher, observing the holidays, uh, putting on tefillin, praying every day, things like that. Laws between man and man are the so-called civil laws uh, to do justly with each other and not to rob, not to steal, not to kill each other, uh, to act properly with each other. And the rabbis ask a question, what laws are the most important? And the answer is the laws between man and man are the most important. In fact, if you ask a parent, what would they rather have? That the children should be good to them or good to each other, to their siblings? Each parent, I'm sure, would say, just be good to each other. Good, be good to your siblings. Because when we're gone, we, you'll only have each other. And you should take care of each other and love each other and act well towards each other. This is really the most important thing. And this is really the theme of the month of Elul, in fact, to act righteously and justly and charitably uh, to our fellow, our fellow person. And therefore, we come into the uh, holidays of Rosh Hashanah and all of the, the high holiday period with a clean slate and a good slate. This is really the most important thing. Judaism is a religion not so much of faith but of actions and of good deeds. And for us, actions, as they say, speak louder than words. The most important thing in Judaism is to act well with each other. And I'd like to wish everyone a k'sivach simatova. You may, may you be written and inscribed for a good year, for a good judgment for this coming year. Let us take advantage of this time period before Rosh Hashanah to make up with those people that we have hurt and uh, call them up and apologize or say, listen, let's get together over a cup of coffee and let's settle all of our disagreements and our grievances with one each other, with, with each other. And certainly by doing that, God will give us a very, very good uh, and a well-deserved new year. Candle lighting tonight is at 7.08 in San Diego. We'll be davening Mincha a little bit earlier at 7 o'clock. We're trying to get it a little earlier to accommodate people who have children, want to have a dinner together with their children, not too late. It's getting earlier. Uh, we just sent out a major mailing to everyone, to all of you. You should have received it by now or by Monday. And in the mailing will be a card that you should fill out with membership information. If you have already paid your membership dues, that's great, or arranged to pay part of them even, that's fine. Just say that on the card and tell us how many admission tickets you need. We're going to be issuing admission tickets this year uh, in, for, the, for the holiday because we are limited in terms of space and, and we want to make sure that everybody is safe. So everyone should have an admission card and, um, and this way we'll be able to um, regulate uh, what's going on in the services. We will be observing uh, social distancing on the high holiday period. Masks will be required. We will provide not masks for you if you don't have any. And um, children under the age of 10 are not welcome to come. Only over 10 and only providing they will stay together with their parents. 
only if they're staying with their parents and not running around uh, children over the age of 10. And if you haven't paid your dues yet, please do so. We wish everyone a very happy, healthy new year, and we'll be with you again on next week. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.